Well, hello, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things Please. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today we're spying on some bacoblins. Bacoblins. They seem to be trying to hunt a wild boar. I didn't know that NPCs would do that. I think that's freaking awesome. It doesn't seem like they're going to be successful, but that's fine. At least they're trying. You got to give them credit for that. <laughs> that is so cool. Um, we came back kind of to the beginning here. You know, in the last episode, or in the last couple, we had jumped off the Great Plateau and we kind of went, yo, we just sailed across here. We we're on our way. We we're trying to find uh, that meteorite that had struck nearby. But we ended up going to this tower and we turned on the tower, activated the tower and got this whole map. And so then I was thinking, you know, maybe I should go back. Bosch Kala Shrine. Why is that on the map? That's interesting. Anyway, I figured there's so much stuff that we had missed, so I warped back to this tower, and then I jumped back down. I've been running around a little bit, doing a few things. There was something in particular that I discovered that I'm going to wait to tell you about until probably the end of the episode. I used an amiibo, and something happened, but we'll get into that. So let's just kind of follow this road. This is the path they sort of wanted us to take, so I thought, you know, why don't we just do it? And there's this shrine here as well, so maybe we'll try that out. Anyway, let's jump in. Let's play the game, for God's sake. It's a freaking game, and it's awesome. I kind of want to... Oh, oh, you know what I should do? I should try to climb up this pedestal. Hi-ya! Hi-ya! Yeah. There you go, Link. Oh, wow, you can hear them. They're squealing like the pig monkey monsters they are. <laughs> How long are they going to chase this freaking boar? I feel sorry for the pig. Oh, they're all pigs. Oh, it's pig on pig crime. Let's see. Amber. Nice. Should I make these dudes stop? Make them leave the poor pig? Okay, let's do this. Hi. I... Yeah! Aha! Oh, shit. I need to get this whole dodging thing going. I haven't really been doing a very good job of that, or maybe trying to parry and such. Hey, pig. Where are my thanks? Hello, I just saved you. <laughs> you just gonna keep running around in a circle? I should eat you. But I won't. I'll leave you alone. All right, so let's run to this road. Where the hell is this road? I'm in a different region now. How did that happen? I was up on this little pedestal. Um, I've just been finding some pretty cool stuff. I can't really go into all of it because I can't really remember all of it, but I've been finding lots of little uh, Korok puzzles and things like that. Haven't been playing much without you, don't worry. Haven't done anything major, but, you know, this is a game that you can take on the go with the Switch, and I like to do that sometimes. So when I am playing by myself uh, without you guys watching, I just kind of do a little exploring, a little adventuring, see if I can find items and things like that. But yeah, nothing too spectacular. Rusty Claymore, I don't think I need that. So let's explore these outpost ruins here. We'll just kind of journey along this roadway. If anything interesting catches our eye, we will explore it. I can't... Ugh. The whole thing with the amiibo, I'll give you the preface before we reveal what actually happened. So I heard that you can use amiibo that are Zelda-related. Like, obviously, they... Whoa! Okay. Hello. What the hell was that? <laughs> Somebody tried to kill me? Um, obviously, they released a series of amiibo for Breath of the Wild. And um, if you scan them in, supposedly you get little bonuses. Like, you might get a chest will drop, and it'll have special items and things like that. Nothing too amazing or game-breaking. It's just things that could be useful for you. And you can only scan an amiibo in once a day. Um, and there are some other Zelda amiibo from, I think, Wind Waker and from Ocarina of Time. Oh, look, a deer. So where did those rocks come from? What was the deal with that? Who was trying to kill me? Um, and you'll just get different items. You can get different costumes and stuff like that. And I was thinking, okay, I don't really have any Zelda amiibo. And then I remembered that I actually do. I have the Link from Smash Brothers. And so I said, hey, I said, I said. I said, hey, why don't we try to scan this in? And so I did. And something happened. Something that I was not expecting. And it was a shock. And it kind of freaked me out. And I panicked. 
in a good way. It was a good thing that happened. But I was kind of upset that you guys didn't get to see it. So I'm going to show it to you later. We're going to be traveling sort of in the direction. I don't know. I, 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 I don't want to be any more specific than that right now. We'll keep it vague. Whoa, hello. But, you know, let's just, let's just keep walking here. Oh, look at this. The, oh, wow. The road actually gets muddy when it rains. That's cool, man. <clears throat> Whoa, what? With the rocks again. <laughs> Who is doing that? Okay, anyway. We are approaching this bridge. We just kind of flew over this on our paraglider before. Oh, you know what? I climbed to the top of that flag post. Flag pole. And there was a Korok on top. Oh, no, maybe I, f maybe I climbed up that flag pole. I should try this one. Let's see. Okay, so now we're in east, co east post ruins. There is a Moblin over there. They're big guys. They're not too tough. Oh, look, a dragonfly. See, I haven't caught any bugs yet. That's one thing I need to do. Anyway, let's try to climb this pole. Oh, no, it's raining. God damn it. You can't climb when it's raining. So, screw it. It's not going to work. Okay. Let's just keep going down the road. We'll leave that moblin to his own devices. Did I just go... Did I just go in reverse? No, I went down the wrong road. Wait a minute. How did I get so turned around? There's another direction. Yeah, I should be going this way. Yes, so this goes... I don't know where this goes. I think that goes to Lake Hylia. Hylia? We found that sort of swampy area earlier. Anyhow, yeah, I think that's the flag post pole, post pole that I climbed earlier. Visibility is down to almost nothing right now. Mount Doom. And, no, it's not Mount Doom. That's from that's from Lord of the Rings. What is that called? Death Mountain. There you go. Get my Zelda. My mythical worlds are getting confused, conflating. Okay, are you guys going to try to kill me? Ah! Jesus Christ. What is with this giant ah cloud of keys? Can you stop that, please? Are you going to attack me? Yep. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, I killed a few of them. Whoa, stop it. My sword's getting damaged. Ugh. Things just keep happening. All right, let's cross this bridge. The cool, like, freeform jazz Dave Brubeck battle music is still going. Oh, now it's not. Oh, look, a dude. Hey, buddy. Let's talk to this guy. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, let's just say it's better than most. Badder. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry. Wh who are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself. So you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long-deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Uh. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here! With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Uh, what thing? Uh. I'm talking about that Guardian, of course. Have you heard the old stories about Hyrule? See that thing over there? The, th the one shaped like an overturned urn? That is what I'm talking about. Hmm... Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. This one here? No, it was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. Mm -hmm. You think it was my lightning-fast reflexes that saved me? Haha! <laughs> I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. My god, you talk a lot, Brigo. Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute. Please think about what you're doing. I'm young, but you're even younger. I'm trying my best out here, but I get the feeling you're going to end up trying even harder in this world. That's the feeling I get when I look at your face, but maybe I'm nuts. Huh? You're fine. Just don't be so careless. There are too many enjoyable things in the world to gamble with your life. Fuck you. <laughs> Eat that, Brigo. 
Bet you don't have a paraglider. All right, well, that was a fun little NPC interaction. Whoa, hello, Octorok. Fuck you, Octorok. Fuck all y'all motherfuckers. Okay, so there is a shrine. Let's go to the shrine. How about that? There it is. We just went right, we walked right past it. It's ridiculous. Are you throwing rocks? Jesus Christ. Oh, the fire's out. I was gonna rest till morning, but whatever. Okay, we retraced our steps. Oh, for God's sake, Link. Hit them. I know it's my fault. I'm fully aware of that. Um, we retraced our steps. We're back at the shrine. <laughs> We're going to do this thing. I don't know how I just walked right past it. Like a doom cub. There we go. Okay, shrine. This will be our first non... Oh, for fuck's sake. Can I just go in the shrine? Can I do that? Yes? Yes? Okay, good. Um, this will be our first non, like, rune-getting shrine. I'm not sure what the puzzles are going to be like, if they're going to kind of... Whoa, okay. <laughs> if they're going to try to uh, combine all the other sort of rune puzzles that we've had in the past, we'll see. Mm-hmm. All righty, so what have we got here? There, oh. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Bashkala in the name of the goddess Ali The wind guides you, Bashkala Shrine. Interesting. Okay. Let's take a look around here. Take a little gander. See what's up. I'm assuming that we're going to be paragliding in here. Hi yeah. Hi yeah. There we go. Easy. Ooh. Ember. Alrighty, so that was easy enough. What else? Alright, we got a fan going this way. We got a fan going that way. Ooh, I don't see the little monk hanging out anywhere yet. Yo! Whoa, okay. Is that it? That's a that's a drop right there, gang. That's what you call a bottomless pit. We don't want to go in there. Okay. So that goes in that direction, but I'm gonna have to be careful to actually like de paraglider by the time I get there, because I think I'll just blow right past if I'm not careful. Now why would I want to go back? I don't know, I already got the chest, so I think we're fine. And why would I want to go over here? Are there other methods that we can use? Oh, there's another chest. Hmm. How does one get there? Can I magnetize it? Ye no, I cannot. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Nothing else I could really use here, I don't think. I don't want to blow it up. Hmm. If I jump off of there, will I reach it? I don't think so. I want the chest. All right, well, let's head for the monkey man first. Uh, I guess I guess we'll just do this. Yeah! Oh, oh wow, yeah, I almost... Almost lost it there. So now, huh, how do I get that chest? If I jump off of this, it's just gonna fling me somewhere I don't wanna go. Okay, we're gonna try it, I might die. Yeah, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna, I'm dead. I'm dead now, that's, that's Link dead now. Well, uh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Um, let me take a look at my shrine. My shrines, my runes. There's nothing magnetizable around here that I can see. Okay. I can't do anything with... Can I do anything with stasis? Oh. 
Can I stop the fans? Yes, I can. All right, now, can we deactivate the fan from here? Yes, we can. Now, can I actually reach this? No, god damn it. That's an interesting situation. What if I jump from up here? Maybe, 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 maybe. Nope, that's not gonna do it. Gall darn it. All right, gang, I've been all over this damn shrine and I cannot, oh, wait a minute, can I climb that thing? That wall, is that climbable? It's a different kind of wall. Let me see. No, God damn it! I thought maybe I could climb up that and then leap from above. Ugh. What is happening here? How do I get that chest? This is really annoying. I mean, it's not annoying, it's cool. It's fun to try to puzzle this out, but I really have no clue whatsoever. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what that, What happened? Sometimes you just don't get enough air. I don't know why. Well then, that did not go well. Fish and mushroom skewer. Let's try that. Alrighty, I am completely nonplussed here. I have no, why did it do that again? God freaking damn it. Oh, that's heart in the throat kind of action there, people. Yeah, I really have no clue how to get that chest. It don't make no sense, man. Do it, Link. There you go, buddy. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. No, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking maybe there are other ways. If I jump and, like, pull back, but that doesn't give you any more height. All right, let's just talk to this dude first. I'm gonna have to think some more about this puzzle because I can't figure it out. Hello. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. This looks a little more chipper than the other ones. Give me your chest ball. Let me have your chest ball. Give me your chest ball, please. Thank you. There we go. Got a chest ball. Now, I need three more and I can get another. Oh, may the goddess smile upon you. I can get another upgrade, either stamina or heart container. I'm not sure which one. All right, you desiccated mummy. How do I get that chest? You bastard. Oh look, there's something spinning on top of that flagpole. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna have to investigate that. Oh, no, 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 that's the one I already climbed, so that's the Korok who's already there. I think he's like, hey, buddy. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> um, God damn it, I wanna go back and get that chest, but I don't wanna have you just sit there watching me scratch my ass for, you know, 20 minutes trying to figure it out. We're gonna give it one more try. I, I need to just take another crack at it, and we'll see what happens. The only other thing I can think of to try to gain some height is fire. So I think you can burn things and create an updraft, but there's nothing to burn in here. Like there's just, it just doesn't make any sense. Can I do, no. I was wondering if maybe I could do the time, oops. <laughs> All right, there you go. I was wondering if maybe I could do the time freeze and then beat on this, would this cause? I don't think so. And I can't really reach it. I was thinking maybe it would 
cause it to be more powerful. That's not going to do anything. Oh my god, I did it! I don't even... I don't know if that's how you were supposed to do it, but I did it. I jumped up on one of those weird little lantern things, and I got a soldier's claymore. Awesome. And of course, my inventory is full. So let's get rid of something here. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Uh, I've got a mop. <laughs> I don't know if, I, if you guys saw me pick up this mop or not. Uh, I'd like to hang on to that for a little while, actually. I'll get rid of one of these clubs, I guess. Excellent. Now give me that claymore. All right. Well, we we kind of figured it out, sort of, kind of, worked. Oh shit. Yeah, that's a problem. Jump, like, oh my god, I was walking on sunshine. <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of the shrine. I want to continue down the road, get to the end of the road, and show you what I found. I don't even know if we're gonna get to it in this episode. We might have to wait till the next one. We'll just have to see. Yeah! And Link is hurting, man. I guess I better eat something. One more meal. Let's go with... Let's see, that does five hearts. Man, these do a lot of hearts. A lot of hearts. Let's do this one. Yummy. I shouldn't have used... I cooked all these things with uh, stamina increasing items. I shouldn't have wasted those. I should have just cooked normal meals for hearts and then used the stamina items for when I need the stamina. But whatever. All right, let's go. Excellent. All right. We did it, sort of. I still don't know if that was actually the answer to that puzzle because it seemed kind of wonky to try to climb up onto some weird little lantern that it didn't really look like you should be able to climb up onto. But we got the chest. I may have to actually look that up now to see what the actual method is for defeating that shrine. I mean, I beat the shrine. I went and talked to the monk. But in terms of getting the chest, I'm not sure if I was quite doing what I was supposed to do. But anyway, we're continuing down the road here. Looking at my timer, we are about at 30 minutes, I believe. So I think, even though we didn't accomplish a hell of a lot, I think it was still a fun episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying me playing this game as much as I am enjoying playing this game. But we're going to cut it off here, and we will pick it up in the next episode of Stuff and Things Plays, and I will show you what happened when I used my uh, Link Smash Brothers amiibo. But until then, until we meet again, I've been your good friend by you, and the audience of Stuff and Things Plays. I'll see you later.